at Timaeus' alchemy store. Uh, oh, did you say my name? Looks like I beat you here. So, did you do your homework, Timaeus? <laughs> Paima wants to hear it. Uh, so sorry. I haven't gotten around to it yet. Timaeus, might I ask how you're progressing? Huh? Traveler and friends. Oh, nice to see you again. Uh, Sucrose has me deciphering an alchemical recipe, but my brain is doing backflips. I, I just don't understand it. So, in other words, no progress? Uh, no. Oh. Now that you mention it, I can't figure it out either. Uh, is alchemy really that mysterious? But of course! Alchemy is an ancient and mystical discipline. Yet with the passage of time, those that can be said to have mastered its secrets grow fewer and further between. Yes! That was my thinking too. But I believe that Mr. Albedo is still painting on the mountain. And we've got lots of research to do. There's no getting around it. If you want my opinion, if Mr. Albedo can't figure out this recipe, nobody in Tavat can. <sighs> Sucrose, what exactly is this recipe anyway? It's a Windbloom recipe I transcribed from an ancient book. Ooh, what if the Windbloom isn't a naturally occurring plant after all, but an alchemical creation? Oh, now that's an interesting take on the Windbloom conundrum. You misunderstand. The book doesn't say anything about it being a recipe for a wind bloom. The book... <sighs> well, actually, it doesn't exactly have the appearance of a book anymore. It's badly damaged and lots of information is missing. Only a few pages of scattered notes from the original volume have survived. That, and a recipe written in some unknown language. The author mentioned in the notes that the recipe was extremely precious. Timaeus and I are completely unable to decipher the content. I know it might seem inconceivable, but... Something about it being extremely precious made me think of wind blooms. Huh? But... <laughs> That's an act of imagination. Traveler, if I may be so bold, could you take this recipe to Mr. Albedo? Mr. Albedo should be at the camp at the foot of the mountain. Ah, the mountain. Now there's a romantic location. Wind Bloom, the flower that alchemy made. Sounds exciting. Paima needs to know the truth. Let's get going. Albedo, here we come. Albedo! Oh. Traveler and Paimon? And who might this be? This is our tone-deaf bard. Venti will do just fine, but yes, I am a bard. Greetings. I'm Albedo, the alchemist. The Windbloom Festival is in full swing. People celebrating everywhere. And here you are all by yourself. Well, with the Windbloom Festival in full swing, as you say, why would you be out here looking for me? We're helping Sucrose. Sucrose gave us some paper. She says there's a Windbloom recipe from an ancient text on it. Neither she nor Timaeus can understand it, so we came looking for you. A Windbloom recipe? I see. This is an ancient language. It's no wonder Sucrose and Timaeus couldn't decipher it. Even so. I don't believe this is a recipe for a wind bloom. So what could it be? I could only guess, I'm afraid. In order to reach a conclusion, we'll need to see the real thing. Sadly, my hands are full right now. But I can give you a list of ingredients, if you'd like to go gathering. Okay, job done. Great work. Let's have a look, shall we? Hmm. Seems we have everything we need. Not for the alchemical process. This shouldn't take long. There we have it. Huh. Uh... Is this the Windbloom that 
Sucrose was talking about? It's just a sweet flower. Have a closer look. Are you sure it's the same as other sweet flowers? Uh, now that you mention it, why is this sweet flower so big? So this is the wind bloom created by following this ancient recipe. <laughs> it really does make me think of sucrose. Huh, it does seem like something she would like. Do sweet flowers this size even count as sweet flowers anymore? I can say with certainty that yes, yes they do. Their essence is the same. But sucrose said that she transcribed the recipe from an ancient book. Could it be that? There were sweet flowers around even in ancient times? There were indeed sweet flowers in antiquity. This species has a long history. Seriously? Have sweet flowers really existed all that time? Yes. Whoa! Well then, I must head further into the mountain. I still have painting to do. Perhaps you could pass this on? A traveler. Enjoy the celebrations. Oh, Sucrose! We've got something for you. Oh, you're back! Timaeus, how's that homework coming along? Did you get the wind bloom? Let me see, let me see! Here's the flower he created, but Albedo said it's just... <sighs> it's just like the wind bloom in my dreams! It's just a sweet flower! No, no, hear me out! This is a perfect specimen from an ancient recipe. I saw it in my dreams. The tetratanic sweet flower! Uh, the, the what now? The seeds of the tetratanic sweet flower are four times bigger than those of ordinary sweet flowers. And the sweet flowers that grow from them are, well, tetratanic sweet flowers. Bigger, stronger, sweeter, and more beautiful. A perfect Tibet species. Oh, and not to mention that the recipe comes from remote antiquity. A perfect, magnificent flower from the far-flung past. Whatever people say, this is my wind bloom. Sucrose is... <sighs> consistently sucrose. I must go and source some nutrients for my wind bloom. Bye for now. <laughs> Who knew alchemy could generate such enthusiasm? Now, Timaeus. Your homework? Uh, just finished, sir. Here. Ooh, here we go. Paimon's favorite part. Timaeus, may I recite it? Duh! You're gonna read it out loud? Duh! <laughs> Don't be embarrassed. Uh -uh. Here we go. Hand in hand with you before the furnace, the flames fail to rise, for they are burning in my heart. Wow. Sounds so romantic. And you even tailored it to your profession. Great job! Truly, a masterpiece beyond all expectation, Timaeus. You're a natural. Really? Wow, I had no idea that someone like me could write love poems of any merit. It must have been Professor Venti's excellent guidance. Professor, as soon as I'm done here, I'll sort out my tuition fee. Ah, music to my ears. <laughs> now, uh, that's job satisfaction. And I guess that's everyone's homework collected, no? Hmm... Aren't we missing someone? Who could that be? Hmm... Oh! Where did Bennett run off to? Barbara! We need to ask you something! Uh, Traveler! Paimon! Mr. Bard! Something terrible's happened! Then it's gone missing! Missing? You mean he hasn't returned after leaving that day? Uh, yes! What if he's in danger? We have no idea where he is! <sighs> the Thousand Winds Temple. Huh? Rosaria? With you all in the cathedral shouting at the top of your lungs, I could hear everything you were saying. Oh! Paimon remembers now! He said something like, I've got it! The Thousand Winds Temple! There's no time to lose. Let's head to the temple and investigate. No trace of Bennett anywhere. 
What's that over there? Horses? Fraser, someone's coming! Maybe they're here to save us! Traveler, keep your eyes peeled for enemies. See what I mean? Even they're surprised by this crazy cell. Lucky you two got locked on opposite sides. Oh, what a superior design. Presumably an ancient mechanism is involved somehow. There's gotta be a mechanism around here someplace. Quick, go look for it! Mm, stomach... rumbling. Ah... <sighs> You just ate the apple from my back. You two seem to have adjusted well to life in prison. We can leave you here if you like. No, 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 not funny. I'm begging you, all right? Please, find the mechanism. And open sesame. Ah, <sighs> freedom at last. Very unexpected. <laughs> I wouldn't call it unexpected. This was just a normal day for me. Sorry. Ah, oh, no need to apologize. It wasn't even your fault. So, let's hear the story. Wait, what happened with that letter? Oh, it was just a false alarm. Turns out some fans just wanted to get her attention so they could get a gift to her. What the? That's terrible. What kind of a person does that? I've been locked up here a whole day thanks to them! S sorry Don't be, Razor! I, I didn't mean... Ugh. Like I said, there's nothing to apologize for. It was my fault for being so hasty in the first place. I rushed off without giving the map a proper look and ended up in the complete wrong location. Ugh. After I left the cathedral, I came straight to the area around the Thousand Winds Temple. But there were monsters everywhere, not to mention ruin guards. You know, those huge things. I guess you've seen them before. But as a first-rate adventurer, I was able to rely on my wits to evade them. Then I got to the temple itself. The moment I arrived here, I heard a monster's roar. Well, Paimon's guessed the ending already. I remember thinking it must be some villainous trap that the perpetrator had set for us. But was Bennett the Adventurer, leader of Benny's adventure team, about to back down? No way! So I charged straight in! Uh, that's when I found him inside. Razor, what were you doing at the Thousand Winds Temple? Woven them. Many hunters. Too noisy, so I leave. So, you came all the way to the Thousand Winds Temple, then what? You were trapped by the mechanism? <laughs> Turns out it was no ordinary cell, what with the inner and outer sections. Of course, when I saw that Razor had been trapped inside, I had to rescue him. Then, all of a sudden, there was a huge crash as the other cell door came down. Yep, just as Paimon expected. Anyway, why did you come to the Thousand Winds Temple? Bennett, did you forget about your homework? I'm ready to collect my tuition fee once I've corrected it, of course. Oh, the love poem. Of course I didn't forget. It's not like I had much else to do, being stuck in this cell all day and all night. So at some point, I just started working on it. It's all finished now. Even Razor reviewed it. Oh, yeah? Razor, how did he do? Uh, don't understand words, but feel warm. Tingly. Like Wolf Hook Thorn. Bennett, may I recite your work? Oh, sure. A taste of Bennett's wordsmanship. <laughs> Yay! A round of applause for Bennett! You and the Mayor Javari. So close and yet so far. One at the edge of the world, the other in the center of my heart. Wolf Hook and Dandelion. 
My Windbloom offering to you. Uh, Wolfhook? It, yeah, not bad, right? Uh, it's definitely your style. <laughs> Marvelous work! Unpretentious and honest, sincere and evocative. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. Bennett did good poem. <laughs> Thanks to you too, Razor. Congratulations! Nice job! Still, Wolfhook and Dandelion, can they both be wind blooms? Oh, that was Razor's addition. I asked him, what do you think the wind bloom is? Wolfhook was his answer. Yes, Wolfhook, good. So, even berries count now? A novel take indeed. Ah, <sighs> I'm so happy. Today was lucky. Getting rescued against the odds, receiving praise for my poem? Brilliant! Sir, as soon as we're back in Mondstadt, I'll buy you some wine. Then it's pretty easy to please. <laughs> That's not quite it. I'm always so unlucky, so I'll take what I can get. Yes, but in future, be careful. Hey, you should talk. <laughs> Everyone, I have an announcement to make. All the poems from the Fast Track class have now been collected. Great! So to celebrate, let's go to the tavern and have a drink! I'm afraid Razor and I have to be going. He said he knows of some relatively unknown areas worth exploring and wants to show them to me. Have a great time, though. Hey, Charles! It's us! Welcome. Have a seat wherever you like. Uh, Master D. Luke? Oh! I was about to finish this drink and go looking for you. But you've done the hard part for me. It sure is lively in here. <laughs> it is the Windbloom Festival after all. No one in Mondstadt who has the time and Mora is going to miss out on a trip to the tavern. Traveler, will you have a drink? <laughs> no pressure. It's not a requirement. Soaking up the festival atmosphere is the most important thing. Master Jean wanted me to pass along this message. You've been chosen as this year's Windbloom Star. Quite the honor. Windbloom Star? The Windbloom Star is one of Mondstadt's greatest honors, normally only bestowed upon those who have made enormous sacrifices for Mondstadt, or who have truly proven themselves over the Windbloom Festival period. Since arriving in Mondstadt, you have offered invaluable support to its people. This is their way of saying thank you. I know you will receive it gracefully. Oh yes, and another thing. The Windbloom Star must attend the Windbloom Ceremony together with the Acting Grand Master. During the ceremony, you will represent the people of Mondstadt in making a Windbloom offering to the Animo Archon Barbados. But... Which Wimbledon are you talking about? <laughs> a good question. Diluc, care to explain? Passing on messages and deliberating over ceremonial details. Sounds more like your line of work, Kaya. <sighs> no sense of humor. Traveler, the Windbloom is always chosen by the Windbloom star. So the flower offered to the Animo Archon for this year's celebrations is entirely up to you. Whoa! No pressure, huh? Hey, where's the bartender? How come Master D. Luke's mixing the drinks? If it's Charles you're after, he's out on delivery. <laughs> and who is most directly responsible for creating the demand for an alcohol delivery service at this time of year in the first place? <laughs> I see. So, what do you make of Master Diluc's mixing ability? Why don't we ask the formidable Sister Rosaria? What do you think? <sighs> He's not bad. Formidable? <gasps> Did you guys have a fight? I'd call it... a misunderstanding. I caught sight of a suspicious figure hurtling by the Knights of Favonius headquarters. Fortunately, I discovered in good time that it was Miss Rosaria and stayed my hand. Aha! So the suspicious figure that day was Rosaria all along! 
Folks in Mondstadt are on edge with you constantly on the prowl. You're no ordinary sister, that's for sure. Allow me to return the compliment, good Master Diluc. You're hardly a run-of-the-mill businessman yourself. <laughs> My. Such a formidable wit, too. But really, is there any here among us today who can't be said to possess a talent or two? Even the celebrated honorary knight has graced us with their presence tonight. Truly, a good day for a drink. Well said. So, Kaya, uh, about that tuition fee? Please collect the goods from Diluc. Three bottles, as promised. They didn't come cheap. The better the wine, the higher the price. Just economics. How are you enjoying the Windbloom Festival, Traveler? That's good to hear. A toast, everyone. To a happy Windbloom Festival and the free people of Mondstadt. Cheers. Cheers! Cheers! <laughs> <laughs> what a festival! Now, this won't drink itself! Ugh, tone deaf bard, spare us off for other people! Paimon's looking for good food, not just good drink! Hey, Jean! Traveler, uh, uh, excuse me, I should address you as Honorary Knight under the circumstances. I suppose you heard? You're this year's Windbloom Star. You will be making an offering of wind blooms to the Animo Archon Barbados on behalf of the whole of Mondstadt. Oh, although, things will be a little different this time. <sighs> yeah. But with us and the Tone Deaf Bard here, this year's Wind Bloom Festival is sure to be bigger than ever! <sighs> that is true. <sighs> Thank you for taking up residence in Mondstadt, and I hope you continue to enjoy Mondstadt life. Oh, the Windbloom ceremony is about to begin. Windbloom Star, have you chosen your Windbloom? So we choose one type of flower, then offer it to the Animal Archon, right? Exactly right. Please consider your choice carefully. Remember, you are representing the whole of Mondstadt. Eh? <laughs> Very cunning. <laughs> Trying to cheat, are we? Ahem. <clears throat> Hey, don't you two go spilling secrets during an occasion like this! <laughs> they told us. Don't worry about me. Choose something you like. I trust your tastes. So, Honorary Knight, what is your choice? Oh, same idea as Beatrice! Cecilia's for wind blooms. Pretty niche, but not without advocates. On behalf of the people of Mondstadt, please offer your Windbloom to the statue. Thank you, Windbloom Star, for your sincere Windbloom offering to the Animo Archon Barbados. May the wind protect Mondstadt. Interesting choice. <laughs> Take a guess. Typical tone deaf bard. Stop making people guess all the time! <laughs> okay, okay, I'll tell you. But not here, though. Not a good idea with so many people in the plaza. Change of surroundings needed. Where should we go? I want you to come with me to Storm Terror's lair. Ah. Now, this is a view. Isn't it? <laughs> I am fond of this place. Sometimes, when I've got nothing else to do, <laughs> I come here just to sit and gaze a while. You mean sit and laze around? <laughs> Guilty as charged. <sighs> it's so beautiful. If only we had some cider in hand. So, Traveler, the Mondstadt Windbloom Festival. <laughs> do you like it? And yet, you still have something you wish to ask, do you not? I know your question. What are Windblooms exactly? And what do Windblooms and the Windbloom Festival mean to Barbados, the Animo Archon? As you've seen, the people of Mondstadt each make their own choice. Out of the millions of flowers there are, some choose the dandelion, others choose the windwheel aster. Huh. <sighs> It does seem like Windbloom means something unique to each person. 
Correct, and long may that be the case. There is no single answer, and no true wind blooms in existence. So, wind blooms don't really exist? The word wind bloom dates from the age of old Mondstadt. It was a code word that the people used to stay in contact and mount resistance in secret. At that time, the people often said that the stronger the wind blows, the firmer the roots of the wind bloom grow, and the brighter the flowers that burst into bloom. If you want my perspective, wind blooms don't exist. Yet they are all around us nonetheless. They are the spirit of yearning for freedom, the courage to follow the wind wherever it may lead. All objects that are beautiful and worthy of blessing. All can be wind blooms. You can't see them, but you can feel their presence everywhere, just like the wind! <laughs> well said. So what are wind blooms? Something that the animal Archon Barbados will not define. Flowers of blessings, flowers of respect, flowers of love. Every individual has their own wind blooms, and every individual has the right to define them. Guess it's no surprise that the type of flower given by the City of Freedom to its deity is in itself an expression of freedom. I know. It is people's shared will that brings them onto the same page. And surely, it is the wind of freedom that brought us together. It comes from the end of the journey, the edge of the world, the depths of our hearts. It is ceaseless. <sighs> Who was it that stroked your bloody, determined visage? By stream flowing small, by boulder standing large. Who was it that embraced your weary yet noble soul? In dreams deep, in skies soaring, dear friend, I am leading you by the hand, into the night where lanterns shine bright to tell you a tale of freedom and dreams. The tale of where this festival begins. <laughs> the Windbloom Festival originated in the Crown of the North, the City of Freedom. Oh, we gotta bring enough supplies this time. Otherwise, you'll go hungry again. <laughs> <laughs> so, if you're asking me, Unofficial business? We're grateful to you, as are we to you. Funny, we haven't gotten together for a while. It's been so busy lately. What should we do on this day? <sighs> Mr. Albedo! How's the research going? <sighs> We've had a few issues. Well, have a look at this. No. Of course, any good tavern offers bar snacks. Hmm, really? Hmm. How should we do it? Who should we do it for? Quietly? Or boldly. Make the first move, or trust a chance. Huh? Uh, look out! Oh, oh. Sorry, so sorry! <sighs> My answer is this. So long as we can both share fond memories, it doesn't matter. Let the heart decide. <laughs>